What do you do to keep your bud fresh? Whether you just picked up a bunch from the dispensary in an airtight sealed container, or you just got a bag off the plug that doesn't even have a zipper on and it's losing moisture immediately, what do you do to keep your bud fresh? Well, most people don't have this issue because the amount of weed that they get only lasts them a few days, so it doesn't really need to maintain its freshness because it's gone so quick. But some people end up picking up a lot. If however much weed you have isn't gonna be gone in the next few days, you might need to consider storing it properly so it maintains that freshness and that quality. So plastic's not the best for long-term storage. They make a lot of different plastic containers that are airtight. When you buy weed from most dispensaries, it comes in a plastic container. This has a little screw top on it, but it's usually sealed when I get it. So as soon as I pull the seal off, it's not airtight anymore, even with this cap. But something like this is good for a few days. It's not really gonna lose too much freshness. It's not exposed to any light, and it's not exposed to much air, which light and air are the number one things that degrade your weed over time. So if you keep it in an airtight container and it doesn't have a lot of exposure to light, you're going to maintain the freshness a lot better. So the number one type of storage container is glass jars, but not clear glass jars, which are obviously the most common. I'm talking about opaque glass jars or colored glass jars. Not only can you vacuum seal a glass jar so that it's airtight, you can cover the outside so that it doesn't let any light through. Something like this, while it would do a good job of keeping the air out, it's clear so it's not going to keep the light out. Sure, I can fill this up with weed, put the lid on, and then stick it in a cabinet or something where it's not going to get a lot of exposure to light. But anytime I open it and check on it, some light might come through. So the best number one container that you want to use for storing flour specifically is an opaque or a painted or a colored glass jar. Now, I have had some where it has like a wood lid that you can press on. I feel like those kind of wick out some of the moisture. So I do prefer ones with like a metal lid or the glass lid with the latch. But you can also get airtight or vacuum sealable glass jars. Now a plastic bag with a zipper is not really going to keep your weed that fresh. It's going to start losing moisture immediately. And then most plastic bags are clear. So it's going to have a ton of exposure to light. But something like that is good for a few days. Or it's good enough from when you pick it up to the plug to when you take it home and put it in your glass jar. Now the best temperature to store flour at is about 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A nice cool temperature, but not cold. If you store it in a hot environment, if I leave my weed outside, I live in Florida, the heat is going to start causing it to lose a lot of moisture. And I've heard of some people storing their bud in the freezer, but that can make your flour brittle. That can make your trichomes brittle and just fall right off the bud. That's one of the steps that they use when they make live extracts is they flash freeze it to preserve the terpenes and the cannabinoids, but it also makes the trichomes fall off easier when you're making ice water hash or dry sift. So you don't really want to store it in the freezer. You don't really want to store it in the fridge. You want to store it in a cool, dark place in an airtight container. So if you already have an opaque jar and it doesn't allow any light through, you might not need to store it in a cabinet, but I recommend just storing it in a cabinet out of the way. Nice, dark place in a cooler space in your house. If it's in an airtight jar, it should maintain its freshness for a long time. There's different factors. Regardless, the weed is going to change over time. The cannabinoids and terpenes are going to degrade and change over time. But keeping it in an airtight container is going to slow that process down. Now, if you've accidentally dried your weed out a little bit too much, it can be salvageable or you can get some of that moisture back. One of the main things that people know about are these little two-way humidity packs. So what this will actually do is if your jar has a higher humidity than 62%, it'll start to suck in some of that moisture into the packet here. But if the humidity is lower than 62%, percent it'll start to release some of that moisture back into your bud so keeping that moisture can help preserve the terpenes a little bit you don't want them to dry out you don't want them to evaporate and leave your bud so using something like this can help it maintain a certain level of humidity and freshness now these can dry out over time this one has just been sitting out it's bone dry but they're relatively cheap and you usually get them in packs of several of them so there are also other containers i've seen out there for storing your weed i used to get these little plastic jars where you'd pump all the air out with a special button on the lid. But again, that's storing in a plastic. It's not as good as glass. I've seen other metal containers that lock and store things airtight. But in my experience, I think storing in a metal kind of changes the taste a little bit. It's hard to explain, but it just gives it this metal -y vibe. I'm not a huge fan of it. Opening up a metal container and smelling the weed never smells as good as opening it in a glass jar. 
I feel like I'm just smelling the metal. Well, I hope this video helps you understand a little more about keeping your weed fresh and how to store it. And honestly, most people really don't need to do that much. If you're picking up an eighth and it's going to be gone in a few days, you don't need to do too much to store it. I live in Florida right now. The humidity is a lot higher. It's like 69% humidity outside, maybe 40 or so percent inside my house. So if I leave something out, it's not going to lose that much moisture. But when I lived in Colorado, there was no humidity there. No humidity at all. Weed dries out so quickly. If I open a container, and left it open for too long it would get dry so quick well i appreciate you watching don't forget to check out my twitch streams we go live after 9 p.m for a smoke sesh we get the bongs and dabs going so make sure to join me over there and related to freshness if you want to hear about why some people don't save keef check out this video right here thank you for watching and i hope you have a lit day my dudes